So what we're gonna be doing, we're cutting uh, a layered haircut on wavy hair. So we're gonna work interior layering. So I wanna work from the inside of this cut out. What do I mean by working interior to exterior? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pivot. So we're gonna take vertical sections and we're gonna pivot across. And I'm only worried about occipital bone. So right from here and up. I'm not worried about the hair underneath. I'm gonna cut that blunt. I want a nice thick feeling on the bottom of the hair. I just wanna layer this interior. I'm gonna lift the hair up. Light tension. So I'm using the wide teeth of the comb. Uh, I'm not holding the hair real tight in my hands. We're gonna come up just like this. And then I'm gonna cut straight across my fingers. Now you could point cut as well if you want to create a little extra texture in there. That would be fine. Just like that. All right, took a vertical section. Now I'm going to take and pivot and grab a little bit more. Grab a little bit of the old section, bring it up in my hand. And now I'm going to push my guide over to the new hair. So just like this, push the guide over and I want the guide to meet halfway with the new section. Just like that here. When you take a look at what you've cut and you take a horizontal section, lift it up. That's some of the hair from the other side. You lift it up and you look at it horizontally. You'll see a nice rounded uh, edge to the haircut. That's the other side as well. So it's got a nice little rounded kind of beveled feel to it. That is the round section that we're creating. So we're cutting rounded layers around the back crown area. Now we're gonna continue opposite side. side with the side sections a lot of times what I like to do is disconnect a little bit of this area because and, and this is something that you guys will learn from me as well I love working with disconnection it makes the most sense to me if I lift all of this hair up and layer it the same way I did in the back here what's gonna happen is it's gonna be so much lighter because this has this much density and this has this much so it's a lighter piece of hair and if I elevate it the exact same now all of a sudden I'm getting a more broken effect around the face and I want it to be nice and full. So I'm gonna take half of this right around that parietal ridge area. I'm gonna bring it up. I want this to be more of a balanced feel. So I want these layers to fall uh, nice and even. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut balanced layers. Like I said, I want the line of the, the layers to be uh, horizontal, not diagonal at all. So I'm gonna bring it up and I'm gonna keep my finger parallel to this parting and I'm gonna grab a guide from the back point. I'm also gonna over direct this up and over the head and cut it condensed. So if you look here, I'm gonna go over the head like this, about the middle of the head and cut these layers condensed straight over top of this guide and point cut a line. So now 
how are we going to cut uh, the heavier side to make it kind of match up to feel the same as this side. What I want to do is I want to cut two different sections. So I'm going to comb this hair up, directly up and over top of the head, just like that. I'm going to grab my guide from underneath here again, and this is going to help collapse this entire section. So I'll point cut across. Just like we did on the other one. So now that drops down. Then the top part of this section, I'm gonna over direct even more and cut it even a little bit shorter. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking this top section that's gonna be the heaviest and I'm bringing it, I'm grabbing a little bit from my previously cut side, the weak side. That's gonna be my guide. I'm gonna bring it all the way over to me and I'm gonna cut. So now, what do we get? We get a line vertically that is short to long and falls and the layers start a little bit shorter right there. So now before I move into the fringe, I'm gonna cut my baseline. I'm gonna part this straight down the center. And then I'm just gonna take some horizontal sections around. Now, here's the thing. I don't have to cut all of the hair. That's why I do this last. I only have to cut the hair that gets to the bottom. So um, my layers are already there. So what I'll do is I'll take, depending on what I want the outer perimeter line to be, take a slight diagonal forward parting Clip this nice and tight. So just like that. And then my finger angle will mimic. So we went over this in the VCC today. So my finger angle will mimic. I'm gonna cut a good amount because she has pretty damaged hair. Her ends are pretty damaged. So I wanna, wanna remove as much as I need to because the internet will tear me apart if her hair doesn't look beautiful at the end of this. So I'm being selfish, taking what I need. All right, so now I'm gonna take a horizontal parting towards the face, comb through this perm hair. So right here, horizontal, comb it down. Not much to cut there. Won't be a lot to cut. It's just really smoothing it out, connecting it through from the interior. So there's nothing left to cut here. So that's good. And now we're gonna finish the last side over here, right here, horizontal line across. I take my time and I get the sectioning exactly the way that I want it before I cut hair. Cutting hair off is easy. Like I can cut this section off, no problem. What I can't do is comb it awesome every time. Combing is the hard part. Sectioning is the hard part.
All we have left is the fringe, and then we can start diffusing. I'll let down my fringe area. In wavy hair, it's obviously important to understand that it's gonna pop up a little bit. So um, making sure that you have the right uh, length is important. I usually go, kind of a, a standard rule for me is if I'm gonna cut it at the nose, to be sitting at the nose, like kind of a, a fringy area, then I'd probably cut it at the chin. So I go about two inches. Then when I blow it dry, I can see how long it is and then do some techniques to cut it a little bit shorter if I need to, or maybe it's fine. Um, but that's kind of my golden rule there. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna bring this hair over to me. And because she has this curly hair, I wanna do a couple things. So I'm gonna show you guys a fun technique. It's gonna be long, remember chin, I'm gonna go chin length here. Good. So first off, I cut my length and I first cut my line. So now I have my line. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weave you guys have seen this like that. Take this section and then just kind of work through it. So now you get the same kind of line, but you get two different lengths, which is a short and long. So they kind of go together when we, when we toss it over to the other side. So I'm gonna do it again. section on this side here we go I bring this section over got a guide from the other side and all I'm gonna do is keep this nice and low just like that cut so now one thing I want to do is just connect this a little bit I'm gonna slide in okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load this thing with some products. I've got enough product in the hair and I'm gonna take this into sections. Right here, here's my fringe. I comb that up. I'm gonna twist it. Down, and leave it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to diffuse. The few tips that we're gonna talk about, we got our diffuser attachment. What this does, it, it calms the air down, the airflow through the hair. So it's not direct air hitting the hair, uh, it kind of spins it and diffuses it. So then these little fingers can help hold some of this in, in the uh, nozzle. So I'm gonna connect that on. I'm gonna run this at low, high heat, low airflow. So you can see how we pop some volume into uh, that, that heavy side. So you can see the volume in it, but then you can see the thickness and the full feeling of the weak side. And that's kind of the goal. So that you don't get that Christmas tree effect, which we talked about at the beginning. You get more of a balanced kind of rounded round, but 
a nice soft effect to the layers uh, throughout the cut.